us, but for around 3.5 billion people in the region. It would be the same. It will attract the same attention from the media, and the people will say, what a great hospital. I'm happy that we have a very, very wonderful team. In a very short time, they made two total body uh, radiations using this technology, which can make a very significant impact on patients. We know before, I still know one patient who is living 12, 14 years <coughs> after the total body radiation. His whole body is absolutely dark. He is on dialysis continuously. You know, he has <coughs> lung functions have been sacrificed. Because that was all that was available at that time. So thanks to whatever we have, but it's not what we have. It is the people that we are here. You know, the, the team, uh, the doctors, the physicists, all of them working together. As I said, on a good Friday, they've done a good thing for, for the country and for the patient. God bless you all. And I just want to say that uh, when we started this, the first day when I announced this four years ago, five years ago in the board, the board was absolutely flattered. They are saying, what do you mean? You are going to put a proton for 1,300 crores? So then they had no choice, accepted it. But then it took time. But finally it got open and uh, when we had this international faculty, uh, oncologists from around the world and the super specialists from around the world, when they came and our vice president inaugurated it, everyone who went and saw that hospital said, this is fabulous. I don't know if there is another hospital equivalent to, to this in technology, in uh, the services, the staff that we have, and more importantly, the, the whole way, the entire way that the way it is set. So I'm very proud. I want to congratulate everybody who has made this possible. But I think this team of doctors that we have, the best in, in the country is not the very best in the world. Uh, that, that I'm very, very proud. I think they deserve a, a tremendous applause for this great work that they have done. But please remember, this is only the beginning. For Joe's, it's another number. It is 1,300 uh, plus bone marrow he has done. Uh, but this is very special for him because we have used total body radiation in a new, using a new technology with minimal side effect for the patient. So I think uh, what we, have, we want then and today is the same. I said it's not putting up another hospital or giving a treatment for another patient, but we must say that within us, our conscience must be clear that at Apollo, he will get the best possible treatment that's available for him anywhere in the world. We have never ever sacrificed, starting from our first CT scan, whole body CT scan, about cement, Induja, uh, Dr. Mehta, supervisor, superintendent, used to continuously scold me, why do you waste 5 crores for one machine? Here about, we waste 1200 crores for one machine. So that is not it, but, but our intention was very clear, that out in India we should be able to do what the rest of the world can do, and then give a lead to it. So just to recollect, three days ago, the, some of our doctors gave, gave the various presentations in the national and international media. And I was so happy to see that about 70 of them who made international paper presentations and publications. So this makes us feel proud that India is not at the back foot of uh, healthcare. We are right up there. But we have huge problems, you know. This is where I think we are not stopping here. But we will do what, what is best, but we will continue to take a challenge on the health uh, ch challenge that the country today has, the biggest challenge that we have is called the NCDs. We all know, I think I have told you before, the World Pub Economic Forum said by 2020, it will be 80% of the deaths will be from NCDs. What are NCDs? Cancer, diabetes, heart problems, strokes and infections. And cancer is the place a very big role because it is growing at the rate of 36%. I believe it is 36%, but really what we are seeing is probably it is cross 40%. So I think it is one of the dreadful things of amongst the things. But what I am happy is, four years ago when we had an International Cancer Congress, they all coined the word saying, 
cancer is conquerable. But uh, three months ago when they all this assembled, they said, cancer is curable. You know how it can be cured? Yes, we need all of these, you know, these wonderful doctors, great uh, infrastructure, but most importantly, we want you, media, to help people to come early. And if you come early, all cancers can be cured. I come from a small village, about 100 miles from here, but I always say near Tripathi, but it's midway between Chennai and Bangalore. <coughs> Last two years, they did complete cancer screening. They found 14 people in stage, stage 1, stage 2. All have been operated, so that means there is no cancer in that village and the 170 hamlets. So this is what I want you all to do, to bring the awareness to people so that we can control and escape from this huge tsunami of NCDs. Similarly, heart attacks. You, uh, you published a month ago about the 15-year-old who went to the exam and died. Day before yesterday, a, a, a student who passed out from the American Institute of uh, here went to, uh, joined Amazon. Four months later, he went to a hospital dead. He had the pain by the time he reached the hospital, he was absolutely dead. He was 21-year-old. So this is what's happening. Heart attacks used to happen before at 65, 70, but they are now occurring at this age. So this is a huge, uh, uh, heart problems are tremendous. Then of course, if you come to diabetes, uh, the, you know, in the, all the three, we call it the gold medal. In cancer, in um, heart problems, strokes, and infections, we hold the gold medal. But the one which, which you don't have is China's property. China is the major capital of diabetes. But we are racing so fast that I'm sure even that gold medal you will get. But let me tell you, I don't like those gold medals. I can throw it in Bay of Bengal or even go up and throw it into the uh, Indian Ocean. I can do it only with your support. If you inform people, please have assist your state of health and follow the advice. All of the, the, these can be eliminated. So I hope uh, by calling you for this important conference is not only to show that out in India we have the best oncology hospital in the country, but is able to do what the world, only some of the hospitals in the world are doing, but also to tell you that this is another major weapon that we are going to use to control this uh, so-called NCDs. Thank you. Thank you all very much. But before that, I want to congratulate uh, the the team of doctors uh, who have done this miraculous thing. But more importantly, I think the credibility all, all goes to the important patient. Uh, she has come all the way from Oman. <coughs> we have great relationship uh, with Oman. Uh, whenever I go there, somebody from there comes to me, Dr. Reddy, uh, we love in, in India, we love Apollo. So thank you, uh, sister, for be, uh, being here uh, today. And I think, uh, uh, I, I just I want to express saying, we have such relationship with several countries. So we'll try to keep this going. My intention is <coughs> that we should be able to give this advanced level of care for the entire world. So if this is possible if, we, if the government of India and the public sector and the private sector act together to bring the best facilities uh, because we have people, we have the talent. With all of these, India could become the major global healthcare destination. God bless you.
கொஞ்சம் சும்மா இருந்தேன்னா அவங்க பேசி கேட்டுறாங்க Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I am Fatma, uh, 36 years old. I'm mother for two kids. Actually, I am staff nurse. I'm working in ER for 15 years. I neglected my health care for more than seven months. I feel it very tiredness regarding simple things, but I neglected that time. Uh, after some time, it is started get bleeding and uh, my life it started irritable so now i plan that time i'm planning to do some investigation actually i do the cbc which is only to facing if there is any abnormality uh, within three hours i received call from my doctor it is leukocytosis it has left me firstly in shock but uh, according to my beliefs Allah, when He is give you something that is meaning you are strong and able to pass it. Just only be positive and look in the good direct way. Uh, after that, uh, they are shifted me to Royal Hospital, in which it is uh, for hematology department, and they are do it for me bone marrow aspiration and they get my diagnosis. That is, if it's acute myeloid leukemia with the blessed those cells and it was in higher stage. So they are started for me fastly chemotherapy, higher dose chemotherapy. I received their uh, one do, once uh, course chemotherapy mentioned to two parts. But the doctor since beginning, he tell me this is not your treatment. Your treatment it is only by bone marrow transport, uh, transport, transportation. So uh, they are started quickly to find who is watching with me. Unfortunately, I am one sister with, uh, but I am lucky I have eight brother. I get the three matching from one of them, and one of them is more healthy, and they are selected him to be my donor. I thank my government because they are taking all payment and all costing to traveling me to Apollo Hospital and select the best hospital to treat cancer in India. I here arrive on 1st April. I am already admitted in Apollo Hospital. Since first day, I feel it, it is like my home. They are good family, they are respectful person, and they are positively. Uh, they are started with my initial investigation, then we are uh, shifted me to BMT unit, and they are doing the process. Uh, that before that process, actually, I received radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Actually, I know what is radiation therapy as I am a staff nurse. It is a very horrible situation for the patient. The patient, he cannot live normally like other person. He will be like deaf person walking. All the skin, it will be irritating. It will be redness, uh, poor appetite. They will reduce their weight too much and multiple complicated. But the doctor, he selected for me other thing, total bone marrow radiation, and he explained it for me, what is the benefit about it. And I am feeling that Allah, he loved me more because he gave me this chance to get it. So I go to Brota Center. They are also, they are very lovely family and respectful people. They are take care of me and uh, they are too patient with me. Uh, the process actually is going smoothly, needing only to be more positive and thinking positively. I hope each patient with CA keep it his brain in positive point. If you have negative point, you will not do it anything. You will not successful. You will not reach it anything. Just only thinking in positive way. If you're thinking positive way, 
Allah he will help you and he will guiding you and he will select the people they are good to help you also during radiation therapy I am very fine yeah I get it mild uh, vomited mild low appetite but I can continuously my life normally actually I receive uh, radiation therapy three days uh, two dose with seven hour interval in between then chemotherapy and I and not I am and, and I am not not get any side effect which like uh, chest pain like uh, numbness in the body like uh, irritating in the skin dryness all that I am not uh, get it yes sister so I'm very happy um, by God's grace they give you what is good for you or the best for you anywhere in the world uh, we are happy you came here and we wish you normal life and we are very very happy because you belong to our profession yes. <laughs> Thank medical you. profession so our additional good wishes to you and good health and God bless you Thank you. Actually, greatly thanks to multiple one. At the first, I'm thanking Allah. He gave me this disease and He gave me this chance to know something in the life and to be more strong and more uh, positive person. I thank Apollo Hospital. Uh, they are taking care of me, especially Dr. Goz and his team and the Broughton Center. All their family, they are also cooperative with me. I thank my family, they are supporting me too much. And I thank also one of my colleagues who is, since my diagnosis, he is become with me and pushing me to be more positive and more strong. Thank you a lot. If I want to thank anyone, I will not finish it till morning. <laughs> Also, I thank my government because they are taking my condition seriously and not delayed me to, to receive a treatment. That was very important. I think we must admire the decision taken by your government to send you so soon before other complications are set in. Thank you. Have any questions? I am very happy today because the government of Oman, when the, the one of their nurses had uh, been diagnosed with myeloid leukemia, they said the treatment. So as I was saying. I must compliment the government of Oman when one of the nursing staff has been diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. They said the only way that you can get well is to go to Apollo Hospital in Chennai. I thank them for the confidence they have placed in us. This is a confidence that people from India and over 100 countries have in what we have done in the last 35 years. And almost all disciplines we are doing anything that's happening anywhere in the world. And uh, today Dr. Jose clearly explained, he'll probably answer you again, that uh, the, this could have been done in the routine manner by giving total body irradiation with complications in the other, occurring because of other organs being affected or selectively uh, irradiating only the uh, bone marrow. So I think it's a, uh, as he mentioned, this is the third country in the world. US, Italy has done, and now in India we have done. This is where I think I'm very happy. First, I congratulate my, the, the, the uh, team at Apollo, who have geared to bring the world's best care for our people in everything we have done, and I think oncology now is very important. 
I have also mentioned earlier that, that uh, oncology belongs to one of those tsunami groups. Uh, the World Bank said the NCDs, diabetes, heart, strokes, cancer and infections will be cause 80 percent of the deaths and the cost effect will be 30 trillion dollars for the world and 4.8 trillion dollars for India. You know what 4.8 trillion dollars means? It means nearly 50 percent of the GDP. Can you afford to spend 50 percent of the GDP? You know, we are now asking them to spend 3 percent of the GDP to execute those schemes. So we, but all these four diseases are curable and they are curable only with your cooperation. You must bring to their attention, you please uh, uh, go to your doctor or go to Apollo or like institutions where they will assess your state of health. And then if you have a diagnosed disease early, you can cure them. Cancers are curable. Heart attacks at early age is preventable. Diabetes can be controlled and will not cause complications. Respiratory infections, if you take proper care, you will not uh, suffer and have complications of uh, respiratory infections affecting the other organs. So I think um, we have well understood. Uh, we, we believe continuously we brought in better and newer technologies uh, to give the uh, you know, our team, you know, it is not the equipment can't do a thing, but it's the doctor who, uh, who makes a difference. But he needs the tools that are required to give, be able to give what is being given to any patient for any disease, any part of the world. But I, I want to, I'm proud of them. They're not only doing all of these, they're training even doctors in some disciplines, you know, in uh, cancer rectum. Uh, people from London are coming to get trained with robotic surgery at the uh, Chennai. Similarly in heart we are training people from people across the world. So I am very happy that uh, I would it takes me back 35 years ago when I lost that young man uh, because there was no heart surgery program in the country. Today we can proudly say India today has the best healthcare facility but also has a huge threat from this uh, so-called uh, NCDs and the threat is not a small threat, it is a tsunami-like threat. So we must all go on a war footing and uh, the, you, us, government, or public, private and the media. Media can play a very important role in bringing people the attention saying, find out. Well, why should a marathon runner drop dead? Because he never assessed his health. So I... I'll give it to my colleagues to add. See, the, one of the first objectives in cancer is can we cure the disease? So in her case, she had chronic myeloid leukemia in the third stage, which was a biphenotypic leukemia. So transplant was a curative procedure for her. But then these survivors in the long run they have added complications. For example, they could develop cataract or thyroid or lung problem or heart problem or kidney. So that is avoid the long term uh, uh, quality of life would be should be like a normal person once they are cured. So that was the objective of doing this technique, total marrow irradiation. So we had different quality checks. Day 30, how is she doing? So we'll send questionnaires. She will go back to the transplant a team in Oman. So Oman also is doing transplants. And uh, there is a, a day 100 questionnaire would be sent. And uh, obviously they will be reviewing her every week for the first three to six months. And periodic checkups, how well she does, we would be uh, informed, you know. So, so, so we want people who survive cancer to lead a normal life. That's the objective. Rather than getting crippled, and being cured. So would this also mean that you would give her a five-year window period uh, before, the, before you declare her as cured? Yeah, she, she will be, be monitored every three to six months. And um, uh, that, so um, she has uh, at least a 50% chance that she will be cured.